All right. Gonna do a little bit of something different here today. I guess tomorrow's when I'm actually gonna release it because I don't. I think when I do these dailies, I don't really want to release it day of. Uh, out of respect for all competitors, don't want to give like you know unfair advantages to my viewers or anything like that. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But for now, we'll release them after they're already complete. Uh, but anyway, so I've been doing the dailies more and more lately. Been getting pretty okay at them. I'm able to usually get top 10, uh, unless I'm really unfamiliar with a combo or I just whiff on the, the route that I go. But I've gotten one a few times now, so I feel like I'm getting better. Still got a lot to learn. I'm definitely not... I am no heart or flash turtle by any means. Or various uh, Japanese or Chinese players. I don't really know which variant of kanji that is. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to do some daily challenge. Um, I can tell you a few things right off the bat just by looking at these scores and the clan combo. Um... So, it's early in the day. I usually do mine early in the day. That's kind of to my detriment, but it's not so early that a few scores don't usually roll in by this time. And usually they're not this high, so I can tell you already these are... There's got to be some busted stuff in this run, especially when there's not necessarily a whole lot OP here. Like, these are two pretty negative traits, I'd say. Brawl is overall negative. It's hard to not bleed Pyre Health to Brawl. Like, yeah, your units get it too, but whatever. At your service is going to help at the start, but it'll it's not really going to help past a certain point, especially to get, like, that level of score. And bleeding cash isn't that bad, but it's not good either. Uh, so, you know, between these two clans, first thing that comes to mind, most obvious thing would be a Transcendent. So maybe there's a Transcendent, and we just find Endless on it. What's the most straightforward one we could do? Other things that could maybe get this type of score are Apex Imp, Deranged Brute, Alpha Fiend Infused into Sweeper. And that's really what's come to mind. Um, maybe there's something else. I don't really know with this combo, though, what it would be. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so let's, let's do it up here. Um, give me a second here. Got to get myself situated myself in the right frame of mind. Let the music pump me up. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Got Seraph the Temperant. That should be pretty easy. Sin of Shadow, so... At that score, they don't necessarily get a flying kill on Urkus, but it sure would help. It really seems like the only thing out of what I listed off that would kill this variant of Urkus would be Transcendent. So I'm really thinking there's a Transcendent somewhere here. We'll see, though. Uh, let's check a look at these. That's going to help limit Pyre Health to that damn Brawl shit. I think I'd rather have Resonant Sword. I don't think we would want Royalty. We want Imp Parade and Imperialist. Um, Imp Parade will make uh, Transcend Imp cheaper, slash just all Imps. And then also, um, if, if I can snag Imperialist, that will really help with the whole Brawl thing. And just having my Transcendent die every turn. If I'm assuming there's a Transcendent. Maybe there's not. Who knows. Maybe just a good old fledgling imp. Endless. Into like a deranged brute is the answer here. But you gotta take every trial. Rarely are you ever not taking a trial when you do these dailies. That's 50% score. So you gotta do that. Hmm. I think for a bottom floor kill, we'd want two train stewards here, and I might as well mitigate some damage 
and we'll just put you there. You want bottom floor kills too, by the way. Collectors are quite hard to get. Um, let's just do... You're dying, okay. But not when you got the prototype. Prototype actually is really nice with this combo, it seems. And we'll wait for the molting imp, huh? And just do that. And that'll do it, so we just end the turn. Oh, actually, with Bleeding Cash, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I always forget. With, with So, in old school dailies, gold kind of mattered a bit more, because that was often the determining factor, how much gold you could hold, but that doesn't really matter much in the Divinity world. I imagine it has to be Fledgling Imp here. This could be a skip. Though, Glimmer would be nice, because right now I don't have any spells that actually do damage, so let's do Glimmer. The reason I say that is you want to take as many shards as possible, and there's plus damage shards potentially here. So there's the Alpha Fiend. There's the Sweeper. I most likely want to go Merchant of Steel route. Even If I can just get one of these imps on Endless, that would be worth it. I think given that it's a Hellhorn banner... I think I take the Shattered Shell, and if I can find the Alpha Fiend, yay, if not, whatever. So let's see what we're getting here. Hmm, Rail Beater could also be a way. I think I'm gonna skip here though. Well, let me think, I could infuse something into these train stewards. That's probably worth it. Let's put a Demon Fiend into a, a Train Steward. I was thinking, well, no, first let's see. Let's see if there's an Endless offered. Okay, it's not an Endless. There's a Quick. I'm going to put that on this guy. I think that's really good on him. So, Demon Fiend's decent into the Shattered Shell, but I want to be greedy and try to get Alpha Fiend onto it. Like I said, there's we need to get something really broken here. For now, a Demon Fiend into a Train Steward's fine. Minus two on one of them, I guess. And they're, we're already getting... That's why I took the Glimmer. And should I give health to anything? Hmm. It might not be horrible here, but I'm pretty sure I want a Multi-Strike there. We could just give health to this guy. I guess we could give him rage too, why not? Alright. Well, we want you down here. I don't know that we want her down here. That'll get us that kill. Do I want you to stick around? I don't think so. I'll just do that and then put you there. Do I want to greed and try to get the better steward out in front of her? I kind of think I do. This guy sweeps. I could just put... I could do that to draw a bit more. I think I need to be greedy here. Where is that steward? Okay, he'll definitely come up next turn at least. So it'll be a uh, sweeper boss. I think it's still fine to just do this though. Also, it's Covenant 1, so no need to worry about Ember Drain or anything like that top. Alright, big boy, you get in there, you do some stuff. There you go just for good measure. Oh, and actually, we want to kill him as fast as possible. Just save, save a little bit of gold. Boom. I think another fledgling imp is good. I would infuse the imp into the imp 
I think that's a fine transfusion. We want to leave one impling around in case there's transcendent. I don't know that I need any of these. I can just skip those. You want to keep your... You, you don't want fat decks with these, trust me. I don't know that we need a Steelworker either. Defense is not really that important unless there's like a really bad mutator. I mean, I guess this one is, but eh. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think it's maybe not so good to add that Steelworker. Now, one thing that sucks is if we give up the Hellvent, we're giving up shard counts. Because I can Hellvent, for instance, uh, either the Glimmer, it gives me a little bit of shards, but more more so that Razor Sharp Edge would give me 10 shards. I might just have to skip that because really this side doesn't have much for me. Like, I don't have great Hellvents. Unless I want to Hellvent this Train Steward, maybe. It's 90 damage. It's not going to get me a flying kill here or anything. I think we go for a good... that Alpha Fiend. Look, at everybody's going this route. It's usually a good sign, right? I guess we'll do Forever Flame. Damn. So this is not a horrible one for the Sweeper. I'll take it, I think, for the... And if, it, if, if, it, if I get Alpha Fiend, I'll still use Alpha Fiend. But I have this Resonant Shard. Who knows, maybe I end up with a, a thing or whatever. It's weird, but I might just skip this. I'm not, like, that great on gold. None of those really do much for me. Okay. Major Refraction wouldn't be horrible here, would it? But I'm thinking maybe a minor on this Demon Fiend Train Steward. I don't know, and I'm kind of feeling that. I say we do that. That could be a Hellvent target, potentially. I don't know. We'll just have to improvise. Hmm. We don't want to go in down there. I think we want to just uh, get some hits in here. Boom. Eh, maybe I should have put you here, huh? Well, we'll just do this for now. Yeah, Razor Sharp isn't going to kill anything. Uh, we need the Razor Sharp with this, because now we can't, like, kill that. However, this plus that should do the trick. So let's do this. You still live. We'll just put these here, I guess. I'm going to save those imps, I think. We want to leave space for the big steward to get in. Alright, the small steward, I should say now. We can do that. And... I guess we do this... We can still fit small steward in, because I forgot it's micro stone. Leave some space for it, though. Alright, let's put you up here. We don't necessarily want to chump block if we don't have to, because that gives her more armor. I don't think we're getting a flying kill, but I can chump block here. That probably makes sense. Let's see, 14. This would give me maybe some hits there. She should be here next turn, so I think let's try to get some damage. Well, I should have just done it there. Yeah, whatever. I mean, like I said, I don't think we're getting a flying kill. Maybe I should... Oh, well, she's at the bottom anyway. So... I mean, that, that guy's dead anyway. Just add that to the kill list, I guess.
We have one more of those stewards that should at least get us the bottom floor kill here. Wait, I thought I... Oh, I didn't. I didn't hellvent it, right. Well, that could be an issue. At least we got enough chump blockers here to maybe let make this work. This would get me an extra hit. Perfect. Let's try to do some stuff here, though, huh? There we go. Alright. Well, still not seeing the brokenness that's going to get me that uh, 80k type score. When you're at 80k, you're probably looking at a very early final two, two uh, boss kills. Last stand has to be a, a part of this, right? Hmm. Don't know that this is... It's got to be Transcendum, then. I'm just going to skip these. We could do Pip or Draw. Let's do Draw for now. I think we want to Endless on an Imp anyway. Let's go this route. Maybe there's some Awoken unit I'm forgetting about. Nope, not really. I could give Multi-Strike to... Uh, the Shattered Shell. I think the Branded Warrior is a better infusion. So we'll just skip these, I think. Well, let's see. If it's an Endless, it's probably better that I do the the other thing. Ugh. I suck. Literally the two I didn't want. It's like, I want Multi-Strike or Endless doesn't give me either. See, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes you just whiff, and that's not... Like, you have a plan, but you whiff on it. Well, either way, we're going to put you into you. I could just large stone this guy, not be greedy. I could just do that. Let's just do that. I think I need to. I could always just give some health here or something, I don't know. Could also start removing some cards, that's probably a good thing to do. I don't think the Molting Imp does a whole lot for us. It's an okay infusion. How many infusions do we have coming up? Just one, oh, three of them? Well, I should probably keep the Imps then, because we want to make use of those shards. Like, Imp into Imp could be good. Molting Imp into Molting Imp. Or actually, the Molting Imp into each of these Imps would be fine. And then if there's a Transcendent leaving a Queen's Impling there would be great. I think we can get rid of some of the Stewards, maybe? Or the Root Seeds. I could get rid of a Root Seeds. It's actually probably my weakest card. I'll leave the rest of this gold for now, though. Did I take everything here? Oh, I should do this. Okay, we'll do that to get rid of the root seeds, actually. And... There's the Imperialist. I think we locked that in. Even though I would love the uh, Fledgling Imps, I don't want to whiff on not getting Imperialist. I think this should not be too bad of a fight. So now you'll be... It's crazy though, he's actually still not able to get, like, a slay here. That's not good. I think we really want to try to allow for bottom floor killings by getting the other dude in here. Let's try to preserve his health a little bit though. We can do this this. That will allow the kill there at least. We got this guy here. That's good. We can do that.
Okay, we need you to actually get kills. The rage there would be nice. That guy's dying. Let's chump block that. Oh, well, that works too. And let's do that. Nothing else I can really do. I guess at this point having you have the damage would be fine. We could do this for a heal. Purge that. Him living isn't necessarily in our interest though, is it? Because I want to play this again. Let's just do that or something. do this. Alright. Yeah, we got them dead. So, I think we still want to see what we can do here. Try to preserve as much health as possible. I think that's good. Important work would be good, but what about Imp in a Box? Hmm. Do we have a Merchant of Steel coming up? Here we do. I don't have any more chances to hit. Well, I have a few chances to hit on Endless, but... I think Imp in a Box might be better. Right? Just because I... Without having the guarantee on the Endless, this isn't as good. I think the Imp in a Box wins here. I honestly don't love any of these. Pyre Grow, just limiting the draw isn't really worth it to me. We do gotta hit this, though. I say we health and... Honestly, the Steward... I could hell end that, but it doesn't really fit that well on floors. I think we can get rid of some of these other stewards. It's a it's a lot of stewards. I don't need all of them. I want the good stewards. Oh, we'll we'll be happy to have those stewards against this guy. So we may want a front line. Let's see. same setup here, basically. Alright, we got the good guy here. Let's see what this gets us. Okay, that will work. I think we can do this now. Let's wait on it, actually. I don't think there's necessarily any point to do this now. Let's do this. This guy might be actually kind of a pain to kill. Well, let's leave space here for maybe some other stewards. I don't know. I could wait to put this one down here. I gotta kill this guy though. I can get 30 extra damage here. I can get 32 extra damage. It's not enough to kill him, so I think I do have to put this guy up here. Unfortunately. Oh well. We'll just keep sacrificing these out. I'm trying to think if he'll have enough health to take this boss on. Alright, no heals needed. But if I could preserve a shield, that would be great. 
It's fine to do that. I'm just trying to get back to the last stand at this point, I think. Well, we should do it now. Maybe these, or where I need to put this. I think we're gonna kill it. Damn. I wonder if there's a better way I could have done this. Well, that's a great thing about these dailies. Trust me, I'm not a scumbag for doing this. Everybody does this. I've watched everybody. All like a lot of the guys post videos. Like this is a pretty common thing to reload these. You won't get top without it. Usually. So I still need I, I have to have him down here no matter what. I'm quite certain of that. But I think I need the other two stewards up there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this, and then you can go up there. Interesting. Um, I'm going to front line with him anyway. And then he can, so I'll preserve the damage shield back here. I'm going to start giving you damage. I'll still wait on that. I still need to, like, do damage here. We can do that. And we can just get rid of these guys. So I don't want to cycle back into them. Don't know how I'm going to kill this guy, though. I have 15 armor. I need to remember that. 17 is going to not help me there, though. Well... Is there any way I can take this guy out? Here, let's do this. 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 Okay, that works. And then I can do this for the rage. I'll just have to go back into this guy, but I should get this rage while it's here. Put you here. Get healed. Give you armor for whatever that's worth. I think we wait on this. Read it. Alright. Heal. We'll do that. Armor. Damage. Get you out of there. And there you have it. A, a red X mark. Ladies and gentlemen. Try to lose less gold though. Hmm. Impish Scholar with Last Stand. That could be it. Let's try it. I could maybe take Ensnare. I don't know how strong that is, though. I think I'm fine without it. I hope. We just... Endless Imps is really our only broken plan right now. We gotta hope that we get it. That sucks. We're whiffing, just whiffing, whiffing, whiffing. Could do that. This seems better to me. Just having it on every floor, rather than relying on a random one. Maybe that was a mistake, though. Maybe to kill the flying bosses, I do just need a big floor of, like, several sweepers or something. I like a spell chain here. 
either this or this returned is pretty good from the uh, whatever imp. Let's get rid of that. Well, we can get this. Well, we know we want fledgling imp into fledgling imp. Why don't we just do that? If I find endless, I find endless. Probably the molting imp might have been a better one, though, because it probably gives me more value. Oh, well. Alright, Arcus, let's do it. Rally here isn't the greatest. Let's chump block with this. I still want the shell at the bottom though to kill future um, you know future guys scourge shufflers let's just do this then I think we've started with last stand I think every fight kind of hilarious whatever well it would be nice to put this down when I actually had you know uh one of the better stewards, but yeah, we'll just do it now. So if that guy's dying, we can do this. I think we just want to get rid of these. We got not time to play that yet. Alright, we got the both of these. Probably should have done this first, huh? Okay. Um, uh, I really don't want to, like, rally this guy up. But I do want to play... I do kind of want to play this. Do I, though? What if I just waited on it? Wow, that's a lot of them. Well, do I want this guy to die? I kind of want him to die, right? That way I can, like, possibly play a Transcendent on this floor or something. Uh, I'm going to wait until I can get the last stand value out of these. Guess we can do that. Yeah, we're just going to wait on that. I should have spent money to remove stewards on that last one. That was a mistake to not do that. Oh well. At least I can get these out now. The reason I wanted to not play those other imps up here is like I need like room to take out these stewards. But now I don't really have any room for any more steward purges. But now I got a room to play an imp if I so desire. So now I want to do this. This is a really good turn, actually. Check all this out. I might as well play this. I might get energy out of it. Nice. There we go. Then I can do that. Maybe get another removal. Okay, no, nothing but... Alright, all of that seems pretty good to me. <laughs> I like that turn. Now granted, I'm not going to get a flying kill, because he's got 9 fucking stealth. I mean, shit, I might just not get a kill in general, but I think I will. I think I will. 7 stealth, so I, got I need to preserve these damage shields. I don't know how much damage he's going to have, but whatever. Another turn where this just doesn't really work. I think we can do that, I guess. Because I don't want to shuffle a bunch of scourges into my deck. I, mean, I have so much damage here. I have to imagine that I'm not going to die. 
Let's see though. Six of these to get through. Looks like we got them. Nice. Alright, that's all she wrote. No flying kill. I don't know if we're going to be getting top 10 here. Like, I don't see 80k happening from this deck. Awoken Rail Spike is often able to do some sort of infinite shenanigans in these. I don't really see that happening here, though. What I do need... It'd be nice if I could get this down another... Um, I think last stand is just how we're going to have to do this. Maybe I could get an infinite with white rail spike. If I get the double summon artifact, I could do an infinite with it. I could do endless... Uh, Endless Imp. Well, I'd still have, a, have to have a way to sacrifice Imp. That's a lot. I feel like this is a little amb ambitious, the Woken Rail Spike. Then again, would it really hurt to add it? I feel like with Impish Scholar, I really need to be very focused with what I'm getting back. And I don't know if the Rail Spike coming back is going to really help the situation. You know, it could, or it might hurt it. Oh, this is a really big decision, I feel. It's not going to be the other two. It's either Skip or Awoken Rail Spike. It's one of these. I think we're going to be better off with a Skip. I just don't see that happening. I think we still just do draw, huh? Like, getting to our stuff fast. I don't need Ember. I I might be able to use Pip. I might be able to. Maybe that's better than draw? I don't know. I kind of feel like it's unnecessary. I think draw is the answer. Alright, we gotta get Endless. I, I can't just keep whiffing. There we go. And I'm pretty sure it's got to be on Impish Scholar. Unfortunately, I regret this already, this uh, infusion, because it would have been better just taking one of these and infusing it onto Impish Scholar or vice versa. Because I could have got Rage every turn. Uh, instead, I'm just going to have to get, like... I'll probably put the Molting Imp on it. Well, not, not even, because... Let me think here. Wait, do I have a Hellvent here? No. Okay. It would also be nice just to Hellvent and a Scholar and put it onto itself. Then I get two back each turn. Either way, I know this is going to be the Endless target because its Infusion is just the same thing, whereas these guys actually gain value on Infusion. So I'm thinking maybe the Molting Imp, and I just won't play it on the floor down below. The reason I'm doing it on that instead of the Fledgling Imp is because last stand back every turn is better than Fledgling Imp back every turn. Now what would have been the best back every turn is, you know, half of the Fledgling Imp and the last stand each turn, but you know, whatever. We fucked up, it's too late now. So let's make that infusion. Cause I don't I think on a different floor is where the scholar is going to go. Probably just the the shard tails floor. There's the minus 2. I'm just going to put that right here. Now we have that guaranteed. We'll do this just to get the shards. It actually kind of hurts the spell though to be honest because I was able to use it quite often and not kill the unit cuz I want those slays, remember? Like I definitely want those slays. Guess we'll just take that. Who knows? I doubt it's relevant, but I don't really want to add any other cards to my deck. I don't need more gold. I really just don't. I think we need to remove some uh, stewards. Uh, probably all of them, to be honest. Like, I really don't need any more. Maybe I'll keep that one. I could remove the Glimmer, too. It's 
somewhat useful as a heal, but it's less useful now that it's going to kill units. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it performs. And then I, I think we want our fledgling imp every turn. In fact, I'm quite certain we do. And who knows? We have one last chance to get transcend imp here. We will see. Alright, you down here will work. Let's put another one of you down here. And them dying is a good thing. There's a transcendent. I say we wait on that for a future turn. I don't think there's huge benefit to doing it now. Actually, maybe there is. I mean, I want to play this. Okay, that works. And I still clear out some space. Should have put the dude down first, but whatever. Actually, it works here, but at the same time, it's pretty unnecessary. Put you up here. Do I wait on this? Nah, let's just play it now, because I uh, it'll power up my uh, transcendent. Not that I'll really need that transcendent, but whatever. Maybe I don't play this. I think I don't. I still like it in the deck, but I don't think I play it. Because I want uh, last stand back every turn. going with that. I think this is this is actually pretty good. I think I might be I might be actually com able to be competitive here with the score. We shall see. Oh, I mean, look how much damage I'm doing. If I'm able to do this, I have to imagine we're in the clear for getting some pretty early kills in the coming fights. Well, we'll do our damnedest. Yeah, he's not even getting a hit off here, but just for good measure. I never did find that other Transcendent, huh? Oh no, I played it, duh. <laughs> okay. Oh, whatever. So no transcend up, it looks like. The thing I could use Tiresome Climb for is... If I wanted to move Seraph to a floor, but I don't... I, th I, I can't imagine me not going bottom floor with my main floor. The Sweeper really wants that. Looks like a skip to me. These also look like skips. I think I think we know the plan. We just got to stick to it. Now I could get two impish scholars. I think I'm liking that. What do we got here? We'll do this just to do it. We're getting a pretty high shard count, which is nice. Mm, getting that down. This, unfortunately, we can't add to anything, so we miss out on 10 shards. Maybe I should have thought about adding something just to get that. Oh well. 
double stack I don't see happening. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, boom. Beautiful. I don't know if I really need to... I probably hellvent the last stand then at this point, because just the one dude bringing back two last stands seems amazing. Do I need extra slots? Actually, that could get... There we go. Now I got the ten shards. Boom. Totally worth it. That, by the way, is worth a lot more than that amount of gold being held for score, the ten shards is. Especially if I get a big... Ah, oh, god damn it, I did not mean to click that. You might... I, I, I really don't think there's any... much of any value to... to, uh, holding gold for score in the Divinity, I think. Every little thing you can do to try to get yourself more damage is the way to go. I think at this point, do I need the steward? I don't think so. I think we just spend the rest on removals, even though I bought the uh, the other thing. We keep those, we keep that. I could probably remove March of Shields, right? Like, do I really need that? I feel like I don't really need that. Alright, and then, for the hell of it, let's just... Well, I can't even do this to anything. Yeah, let's just not... Like, I could put Helv... Like, hold over on something? That doesn't even make sense to me. So we Helvent the last stand. Boom. 325 shards. Alright, am I going to be able to get to 35 damage here? I will with the help of that. Alright, oh, the 3 sap. Well, that sucks. Uh, either way... Let's get a slight amount of rage here. It actually is enough to kill that guy. It's okay. Well, we're off to a slow start here, but we'll get going. Oops, I fucked that up. God damn, I'm playing so bad. You know what? Uh, let's, let's redo that. Uh, it may not have any effect, but we might as well. These are the very most important rounds. Like, I need to make sure I get a good kill here. And to be honest, knowing how all that went, I'm gonna set up here. We'll do that, that, put that there, and that, and call it good. So we want to do this, 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 that, that. I mean, we are. <laughs> this is such an irrelevant uh, razor sharp edge here. I think we don't play that. And I'm pretty sure if he comes to this floor, he's dead, right? Yeah, look at that. And just for good measure, though, let's get our stuff here. Look at that, 3,000 damage. Just gonna one-shot him. Alright. So, we might be in contention for the good score here. We gotta get, like, first two turns here, though. Looks like Sleepy Bear Jake's taking a go at it here, too. Let's see, 15 health. I don't have the rage yet, so I think I want to wait till I can get both these slays, right? Well, let's see. Maybe not. Let's find out. We're going to do this, that, 
We can bring it back with uh, this. Okay, there's one bit of rage. We may as well do this. Should set her up here, I think. And then we'll do this. I say we do it again. It's not really any disadvantage to doing this. Nice thing here is he'll sweep out everything for us up here. Really hoping to try to get like a another Rage Imp or a Transcend Imp. I'm getting like literally all the shit I don't want, but uh, whatever. Now we filled our hand up, or our deck up with this shit. That's fine to do. Oh, that's gold loss, slight score loss, whatever. I don't know that we need another one of these guys, do we? Are we better off just doing this? I think here. I think we're better off... Well, it is double hit. Another Impish Scholar. I think we can, we should be able to get the kill this turn. So the fact that I'm not getting it here, let's restart. So waves remaining eight is our target here. We should be able to get the kill this turn. I just need to uh, kind of do what we did last fight. Set up middle, I think. So we'll go there. Put you here. We can't sack as many uh, imps here as the problem. And I also lose my... Like, she'll die. Well, let's see. Let's get a fledgling. Imp. Or if we get the Wilder Harper. Ah, we're getting different. We are, of course, getting different shit now. Which is kind of shitty, but whatever. No pun intended. We'll do one there. I guess I can throw some of them down there. Alright, let's bring you back. Ah, I should have put her behind, damn it. Because now if I get the welder helpers, god damn it. Boo. Well, it may not really matter. Well, luckily, they're all dying still. Here, we can put... Yeah, we got like pretty much the same imps, so... Okay. Ah, shit, that's dying. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna redo all this. God, sloppy sloppy. Alright, you there. You there. You here. you behind. Let's put all of these here. We're getting different imps this time. I guess you could also, if you really want, if you really want, you could really just like scum the, uh, the RNG to try to get it in your favor. Like, pretty hardcore. Okay, that works. That works. That works. I'm going to try this.
Did I just have one of them die? No, it doesn't matter that much. It actually doesn't really matter. There we go. Now we're talking. Wait. Uh, just like continually gives me that back. Alright, we got the kill. Good for me. Like I said, I knew we could do it on 8. Just had to find the path. 85, that should put me in the mix. I don't know. I, I remember seeing an 85 that was higher, I think. So probably not number 1, but... It's not too surprising that we didn't get the highest score, but I think we brought it together as best we could at the end. Oh, actually I'm number one right now. I'm sure that will change. I barely eke it out. I wonder what the difference between me and them was. So this was mine. I did... So they had less shards. Seven turn, nine turn. So they didn't say less shards, they had one less... Uh, they were slower on Divinity, but faster on Temperant. Any other differences? And that's really it, just three turn all the way. So they went with Animus of Will and Demon Fiend, instead of the Sweeper. Um, but they did have the Endless... They put the Endless on this Fledgling Imp. And then they did the Railbeater for melee weakness. And they had the double awoken rail spike, spell chain imp in a box. But they didn't. They did the last stand, but they had. They didn't take the. Uh, unless I'm missing an infusion. Yeah, they didn't take the, the impish scholar. That's wild to me. I mean, with this deck. Oh, but they removed the consume on last stand. I don't know. Even then, maybe I. I feel like the impish scholar would have been a good pickup in this deck. Huh, that's interesting. So pretty similar, except I went sweeper, and then in s they went with just non-consumed last stands instead of consume return last stands, or consume return last stands. Oh well, uh, we barely eek uh, CGMK2 out there. What are the other guys doing? It's so funny how similar all of our decks are. They they go Animus of Will instead of Sweeper. That's so interesting to me. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They So that probably, it seems to, oh wow, 10 turn on Seraph. It seems to work out much better on Seraph because you get all those extra strikes in on the boss. However, it doesn't seem to work out as well for Last Divinity, because you're not clearing out those waves as much, I guess. He had to two-turn Arcus, and two-turn the Harvesters of Death. That's interesting. I wonder why this deck had struggles there. He had the holdover important work with the Endless... The Endless Fledgling Imp with the Impish Scholar and the Last Stand. That's wild. I'm, I'm surprised... With the du the double ash with the ashes and the hellvent at the end, I'm surprised they didn't just do the last stand. I mean, it is literally their only. I, I guess they had the rail spike, but I don't know. I would have I would have hellvented that last stand, and they probably would have beat me. Right? I mean, I can't imagine. Well, whatever. Animus of Will, interesting. See, I'm, I'm looking at the Animus of Will. Everybody's going it. It's, pot it's potential that Animus of Will was better. I mean, with my deck, I didn't really need the Sweeper with Rage Slay. Like, if I just had two Animuses of Will with all of that Rage from just the Imps, plus Last Stand. Here's the problem, though. You never know what's going to happen. Like, I didn't know if we'd even get uh, Endless Imp. With Fledgling Imp, I mean, it was likely with how many times we were going to target steals, but I don't know. It's it's interesting to see the, the, the differences. It's never necessarily correct to go one way or another, because it's like sometimes you go away and it works, sometimes you go away and it doesn't, right? This guy would 
with more of what I was doing. He did the same Branded Warrior, Shattered Shell, and Fusion. They all went Rail Spike. I'm the only one that didn't go Rail Spike. That's the only... That's so... Like, most of them all went Animus of Will, and almost all of them... I think all of them took Rail Spike. Yeah, literally all of them took well, Rail Spike. I, I feel like I stand by not taking Rail Spike. You saw how even just the imp in a box often was costing me a last stand at the end. Granted, it also granted me one because I could play the imp in a box back, but... Uh, or the imp, it would it granted me some impish scholars, but that wasn't always guaranteed, right? I think I I really like just having two last stands back from the scholar. Oh well, well that's gonna do it for this one. I'll release it tomorrow so it doesn't mess with anybody. But uh, yep, yeah, I'm having fun with these dailies. Until next time, peace.